It's the Snacker Girls. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. And I'm Cassie. And we're the, the Snacker, Snacker Girls. Girls. So today we have something a little bit more unique than usual. Usually we just have one country at a time, but this time Universal Yums gave us a holiday treat from all over the world. So we are so excited. We have turkey and stuffing, chips. We have all these crazy Some things. egg stuff going Baklava. on. Baklava. We are ready. Very uh, excited. So we are so ready, but... We do want to do our trivia question from last time when we had our Italy box. So, Cassie, if you want to take that away. I do. Okay. So, just to go over the question again, it is, the richest person in Italy owns which of the following brands? It was A, Ferrari, B, Gucci, C, Nutella, or D, Versace. And if you were thinking Ferrari, you close, but not quite, it's, Nutella, Ferrero, am I pronouncing that right? How do you pronounce that? That candy, Ferrero, Rochero? Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I don't know if that's how you okay. say it. Okay, uh. so that is the richest man in Italy, Giovanni Ferrero. Wow, good for him. So okay. cool. And so this time we did have a holiday box, like I said, all around the world. So our trivia questions were also from all around the world, but we chose one from Germany because we haven't had a Germany box yet. So let's take it away with a trivia question from Germany. Okay, in Cologne, Germany, used Christmas trees are donated donated to A, a church, B, an orphanage, C, the local zoo, or D, neighbors. Let us know what you think. Hmm. So I am more than ready to get started here. Yeah, I don't know about you. We have Dutch cookies. We have bonbons. So, whew. This box is amazing. We've been so excited to do this. Right. We got our Christmas <laughs> gear on. We are so ready for ready. the holidays here. Uh, in Massachusetts, at least. Don't know where you guys are from. You can let us know. But let's get started. Roast turkey and stuffing potato chips. I have been so excited about this. This was the first thing I saw when I opened the box. And I was like, turkey and stuffing, that's genius. I, it must be seasonal because they have snowflakes all over. Ugh. Oh my gosh. It tastes like a lot of, it smells like a lot of the other Mackies we've had. So we had the UK box and then we also got Mackies in one of our munch packs. So we've had quite a few Mackies of Scotland. I feel like they're always so good yeah, too. Yeah, we like, have two kinds actually. So you'll see the other one later. But let's get going with this one. Yes. Turkey and stuffing. I love turkey. It's my favorite meat, so. Um... It took me a little bit to get a turkey taste. I feel like I'm tasting a seasoning much stronger. Like, I'm not tasting turkey, I'm tasting... What is that? What? I don't know. Uh, it oh, it's not me. rosemary? Is it rosemary? It could be. Uh, it doesn't say there's rosemary in the ingredients. Huh, interesting. But yeah, I don't... It, I felt like it took me, like, a good couple seconds to even taste anything. Like, Agreed. It was very flavorless at first, and I, then it just kind of hit you. I feel like there was a moment of, like... I'd love to, like, just see our faces... A moment of us trying to like get that that taste to come. Like, oh, no, I was like, quiet. do I like this? Do I do I that's, hate it? That's what I went through too. I mean, I would buy these if they were only like seasonal. You know, which clearly they probably are. I would probably buy them every once in a while. But it's not something I'd look forward to. Kind of like yeah, how you look forward to Yeah, I definitely think peppermint. I was a little bit more excited mm -hmm. about it than it actually tasted. A like, little disappointed, but I will still give it a thumbs up. Oh, I will too. Yeah. Sugar and anise pulveron. They're thick. So it said on the package, imagine getting dust for Christmas. So apparently these fall apart really easily. These are from Spain. Um, it says, in Spain, this is their favorite Christmas co cookie, the polvoron. It gets its name from polvo, meaning dust. So. You can definitely smell that. How do you pronounce it? Anise? Anise. Anise. You can definitely smell that. That is. Yeah. Super strong. Um, I can see why they call it dust. Oh. I'm not a fan. It has a very dusty texture. It smells like, it tastes like something so familiar. Like, um, I don't know what else anise is in. <laughs> it tastes like Christmas. <laughs> it does taste like Christmas. If that makes any sense to you, it tastes like Christmas, but 
Uh, I would never buy this in my life. I'm gonna go with a meth there. <laughs> I don't. No I don't hate too. it. Like I'll probably snack on it. Like there's not a lot in there, but it's just okay. But it it tastes like Christmas. I don't know how else to like say that, but it tastes like something familiar. I'm just gonna go with what she said here because I'm just kind of like, eh, I'm not loving it. <laughs> I can't wait to finally realize what the taste is though. I'm struggling a little bit. It's so weird. It tastes like something so so a candy? familiar. I don't know. Like, I really don't know. Cinnamon and white chocolate star cookies. So I'm super excited about these because these cookies are actually, where are they from? Let me see. They're Dutch. They're Dutch. And they're actually hung on Christmas trees as ornaments. So they're edible ornaments. I can open this. I wonder without... how long until you actually go to eat them, though. I wonder if, like, do they eat, like, do they eat the ones they put on the tree? Like, do they eat some that they don't put on the tree, but then just leave these and don't eat them? Maybe it's like candy canes, how you put candy canes on the tree. I, I feel like the coating of how these look are, are, like, so satisfying. Like, they're perfectly coated. This one's broken a little bit, but you can see that. Just perfectly coated. Yeah, I'll like, just take this small piece here. But, yeah, let me get a real close-up oh, for you. There's stickiness to them. Have you noticed that? Oh, Oh yeah, oh. it's very sticky. It's like a coating. It's a Dutch holiday staple, almost too cute to eat. Oh, cause there's a layer of like cream or something underneath. I don't know if you can like see that. These are good. They taste like, almost like honey grams. That one thing. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Very cinnamony, cinnamony. If you like cinnamon, you'll like these. These are really good. Like kind of almost in a gingerbread sort of sense. But the cinnamon is very prevalent. I will definitely be munching on those cookies. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. <laughs> Salted egg yolk popcorn. They smell eggy. <laughs> they do. <laughs> so this is from Taiwan. And this is salted egg yolk popcorn. It looks like regular popcorn. This is so weird. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it just looks like it's a popcorn. staple of the summertime Dragon Boat Festival. They're really soft. Like, uh, I know they're so soft. I wasn't expecting that. Popcorn gives you like that little crunch usually, but these don't give you that crunch. They're like very soft. Let me try another one. I feel like I'm, I'm the taste is so like complex. I love the these. ones. I think this the flavor is so good. You can taste the saltiness of it. I don't think it tastes no. like egg. Yeah. These are good. <laughs> I don't think it really tastes like egg per se, but these are really good. Super flavorful. Very salty though, I will say. Mm -hmm. If you're sensitive to salt, I probably wouldn't eat these. They probably have a lot of salt in them because you could literally taste it, but it's really good. They're so good though. Oh my gosh. Okay. Go Taiwan. Mocktail bonbons. This packaging is so cute. Look at the little mocktails. Uh, it's fancy. There's like little drinks on there, guys. So these are from the UK. Okay. And they have peach bellini, prosecco, tequila sunrise, cranberry cosmo, or British gin and rhubarb. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see. I just kind of want to try one of each. To I know. I'm like, I wonder if they all look the same or if we'll be able to tell. You should just dump them on the table. Okay. They, I can see right now, they don't all look oh, the same. Oh boy, I was not expecting this though. Like, oh, what? I thought they were gonna be like shaped like drinks or something. Oh, oh, they, oh. <laughs> I guess I should have expected they'd just be like bonbons. Was um, this an error or is it really that little? I don't know. I'm so confused. Is there another little one in there? No. Because the rest are all like very round and then you have this little one. All right, I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna try the little one. I'm gonna guess that it's peach bellini. Oh, fun. I love bonbons. We got bonbons in the first UK box. It was so good. For whatever reason, I just feel like mine's is like tequila sunrise or something. <laughs> I definitely have peach bellini and it's so good. It was so tropical feeling. You can't help but smile when you have these. It's so good. Crude Noten cookies. So this is the Netherlands number one spice, spice cookie, bite sized. Tastes like straight up ginger. Mm. All right. Ever wondered why spice cookies go hand in hand with the holidays for many people? Thank the Dutch. That's what this says. Mm. 
These spices used to be as valuable as gold. That's what it says. These are good. They're just like regular gingerbread cookies. I usually like the gingerbread cookies with the frosting on them, but these are pretty good. They're, I like these. This is an easy snack. They taste similar to the cookies. A lot of the cookies we've been having in the boxes, like those morning cookies that we've been saying have some tea and some coffee. That's what they taste like. Mm -hmm. I, I like that they were little. I appreciate that. You can easily throw them in your mouth. And Agreed. Good. Boom. Alpine nut cake. All right. So this is the Alpine nut cake from Switzerland. Okay. Individually wrapped, which we love. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, I They're like little mountains. <laughs> We're in the Swiss Alps, guys. I'm oh like, these are really cute. Do you think it's like a cake? Or I don't know. Oh. oh. It's cakey. Look at the inside. Oh, stuff in there. Mm. It's very nutty. I feel like it's bringing me back. I'm in a cabin somewhere in the middle of a very snowy mountain enjoying these bad Oh, there's actually nuts in it. I don't know if you guys can see. These are like really like satisfying right now. Mm -hmm. Definitely not my favorite thing in the box, but if I got a whole box of these, I would eat them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I love it. This is really good. Yeah, I'm definitely eating the whole thing. I wish we got more of them. I feel like it's just because like, I don't feel like I've ever tried something like this. Like, it's its own thing. Like, I feel like everything else, we like, a lot of time, everything else we have, we're like, okay, it's similar to something a else. chip or a just, wafer. Yeah. This, you can't compare it to anything. Mm-hmm. Very nutty. There are both walnuts and hazelnuts in this, and you can taste both. Mm -hmm. So if you like walnuts, these would probably be a good little snack for you. I would definitely I could enjoy this on a, a very snowy day inside my, with my PJs on. These are this is a cocoa. comfort snack. Yep. Cocoa dusted chocolate truffles. Packaging is so cute on this. The French taste. Uh, so these are cocoa dusted chocolate truffles from France. So... Let's see. Oh, they're big. Okay. They're very literally cocoa dusted. Like you can see all of the cocoa. Hmm. Okay. Okay, decadent is definitely Show over. the middle. I'm just right. in my mouth. It's intense. That is so chocolatey. If you're a chocolate lover, you will love this. I'm a huge fan. I love it, but this would take me forever to go through because it's it's intense. It's heavy chocolate. Is this what people call too sweet? I think so. Oh, it's too sweet. And, yeah. and, and like I love it, but you can have one, one, and then it's like, ooh, okay, let me put that That's aside sweet. now. I really think it could. It's too sweet. Too That's sweet. what it means. It's too sweet, Alicia. <laughs> These are amazing. This is one of those moments where you not being able to taste too sweet is just a stunt. Like, it's crazy to me. So I could eat this whole package right now. Easily. Without even thinking about it. Wow. This is by far my favorite so far. I think that they should probably sell these individually because I literally would eat the entire package. I can't save this for later. We're going to put this on this side. <laughs> that was so good. I... That was probably the best chocolate I've ever had. When I put it in my mouth initially, at first I was like, eh, it's okay. But then the flavors just overwhelm you. Honestly, it tastes like really expensive chocolate. It does. It tastes so good. I think it has to do with the cocoa dusting yeah. maybe. But that was so good. Oh my God. Like wicked bold flavor. Um, maybe that's that too sweet flavor. I don't really know. <laughs> but oh my God. I can't. Like it melts in your mouth. Like. It's not hard to eat. And I was expecting when we went to bite into it to, to have a little bit of resistance, to have it be a little bit firmer. And it was definitely just very, very soft. It, oh my God, it was, it was amazing. That was heavenly. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I was- <laughs> Heavenly is definitely the word. I'm like over here, like I need this whole bag. I need to order more off the Universal Yum Shop. That's it. That's, that's I think amazing. that's like my favorite thing that I've ever had in all the boxes. Like that's how good I thought it was. Oh my God. <laughs> Chocolate cream Pandoro. It's like a huge chunk of bread. It, it's but there's cocoa cream inside. So honestly, I feel like I just have to like kind of like half. split it in half. Do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh my god. Okay. I all was right. not expecting that. Wow. Oh my god, I'm dying. 
This is from Italy. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat this, guys. Look how much chocolate there is. Like, uh, smell it. Smell it. It smells so sweet. Like a, <laughs> it's, so it's definitely a sweet bread. Let's see, Italy. Oh my god. It's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. The chocolate makes it. But this bread would be good alone. Mm hmm. It's so soft. I've had this box for a couple days now, and it's like, you'd think it just came out of the oven or something. It is so good, guys. Oh, my God. I definitely love the chocolate in the middle. I think that it makes the whole thing a million times better. Like I said, I think it would taste just as good alone. So I wonder if they have other options. Apple and dark chocolate domino steens. Perfectly little square chocolates. Oh, smell it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this is apple in, what do we say, dark chocolate. The smell reminds me of, um, what are those, uh, those cherries that you get during the holidays that come in the chocolate? That's what it smells like. When you bite it, it kind of feels like that texture too. Look at the layers. These okay. are from Germany. I don't like it. It still reminds me of those, like, those cherries though. I feel like it's the same kind of chocolate as what's in the cherry and the cream is also what's in those like those chocolate dips i don't like those so i'm like i'm like the biggest weirdo i feel like everywhere i go during the holidays people have them i'm the only person that doesn't like them i don't like these either i think it's the cream the layer of like this whatever this jelly is on top the texture i'm not a fan of it's throwing me off it's like messing with my senses i just don't like the taste i think that cream definitely is what is in the those cherries those chocolate dips cherries um so i can if you don't like those i can 100 percent see why you don't like that yeah. i do like them so i do like these these are not something though that i'll grab very quickly like give me those french truffles i'll be there all day <laughs> assorted baklava Baklava from Jordan. Look how cute this little container is. Let's see that. They're wrapped so nicely. Oh my god. They're so cute. So baklava is a staple of Ramadan. So it's a Muslim holiday. Um, and interestingly enough, it says that Ramadan this year was in April, but by 2030, it'll be in December. So Ramadan follows the lunar calendar. So oh, interesting. I did not know that. Right. Because a lot of like our things, our holidays in America, you know, they follow a certain date. So let's wait for it to coffee. These are so cute. Mm -hmm. This is an egg. I'm excited because I love baklava. I just actually had it like two weeks ago. Mm. it's not the best baklava i've ever had the one at the uh black seed grill in boston i get it there and it's really good um i don't know if maybe it's just because it's pre-packaged like i don't know but it looks personally packaged you know like so i don't know but it doesn't taste like as fresh as when i get it i would say i would agree with it's not as fresh i like baklava but I'm not a hardcore fan like she is. So I can see where you'd be like, it's not like amazing baklava. But for me, it's definitely, if I went into a store, I'd buy this. If I was like, oh, I want a little bit of baklava. I could, but I could see why she wouldn't. I wouldn't buy this. I'm like a big baklava person. Um, that did not cut it for me. I'm going to give it a meh because I didn't hate it. I will definitely like when we eat it at work and stuff, I'll, I'll grab a piece. But I, there are a lot of other places that I'd rather get baklava than that one. So just a meh for me. Roasted garlic potato chips. We got some potato chips. First of all, I think this is our first bag of potato chips that's in a see-through bag. Interesting. Like, you know exactly what you're getting. That's good mm -hmm. in the store because that way From, you can avoid um, the, um, the Czech chips. Republic. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out this Straznik. Bramberki garlic potato chips. I potato chips. <laughs> potato chips. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, alrighty, let's just get right into it. So just so you know, placing garlic beneath the holiday table in the Czech Republic is said to bring strength and protection to everyone in attendance. So it's saying that you should take a bowl of this and put it under the holiday table. That's really cool. But I'm over here smelling. Because the smell is heavenly. 
Oh my gosh. So I don't know. So I'm I'm Hispanic and one of the things that I grew up with is bacalao. Bacalaoitos. They're like these little fried fish things. Um we'd make them as snacks or whatever, and they smell just like this. Hmm. It's intense. It is oh my god, it's an amazing mm -hmm. smell. I just want, I want to keep smelling it. I don't want to eat it. I just want to smell it. I like garlic. I don't like too much garlic though, so we'll see. Very garlic. I love these. If you are a garlic fan, you would love these. It's straight garlic, but it's it's really good. Very <laughs> flavorful. The chips are super thin and light. These are amazing. These might be my favorite things, guys. This is my favorite thing out of the whole box. I love this. I couldn't put a bowl of that under the holiday table because I'd be like, hold on, let me. <laughs> I gotta go get something again under the table. Oh, I dropped my fork. I just keep thinking how dangerous these would be for me, though, because if we had them here, I'd be buying them every day as my chip, and I'd be scaring everyone off at work with my breath. <laughs> Thank God we have masks at work, because our breath has to be kicking right now. They're super strong. Your breath would definitely smell bad. <laughs> We're going to have to warn everyone at work before they take a bite. They're so good, though. They're really good. Super no more, flavorful. No sea salt and caramel fudge. All right, another UK favorite here. So these are from England. These are sea salt and caramel fudge. It says that fudge is a big staple in the UK. Um, and every Brit has their own favorite flavor. So these are sea salt and caramel. They look pretty average, nothing crazy. Just a regular caramel. But it's caramel fudge, so I wonder if it has like chocolate too. Smells like sea salt and caramel. Oh. Oh. Kind of like broke apart right away. Mm hmm I can definitely taste the sea salt part of it. Like that. It's mm -hmm. good. I mean, it, I feel like you can get this here in America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've agree. had this before. Obviously not this brand. I've never seen this packaging before. But if you got like a sea salt caramel, like there's nothing unique about this. It's good. Don't get me wrong. Like I'll definitely rate it well, but there's nothing crazy about this that I feel me. like um, I've, there's this fudge, the way this tastes. Um, I get it a lot when I go to the beach during the summer and they have like those little shacks and they tend to have a lot of fudge on shacks. And this is this tastes like that fudge. Nothing wrong with it at all. It, it's amazing. I just... We definitely have that that taste here. Right. But yeah, it was good. It was good. I agree. Fried onion potato chips. This bag is huge. I'm like, it's like really satisfying to open it because it's just so big. Okay. Okay. These are from the Czech Republic. They smell pretty normal. Nothing. And I was expecting a very strong oniony taste. I mean, they are fried onion. But wow, so cool. this is a huge bag. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. I was just looking at the numbers in the back. You know how like on the back of stuff it'll tell you the calories and servings and stuff. So this isn't in, in English, but there's some large numbers. There is like 2,235. I don't know what that goes to, but. Well, they use the metric system. So I'm like, ugh. We're the only ones that don't follow the metric system. The entire world uses it. But of course America doesn't. Like. I don't know why we can't just be uniform, but yeah, that's probably what it is. Um, mm. these were these were just okay. Um, they did taste like the fried onions though, those pieces that you put on like green bean casserole. Um, I I didn't hate it. I will definitely keep eating these. I like them, but nothing crazy. These were a myth for me. Um, I don't mind onions when they're hidden, like in a burger or I like I, I always if I go to a restaurant and onions and mushrooms and that stuff is sitting on my steak or whatever, I pick it off or I just ask for the steak to be simply left alone. Um, I don't like the way it tastes and this tastes just like that. So it's is really a myth for me. Yeah, I don't get like the caramelized onions or the French onions. I don't get it on like burgers either. So I feel that. Um, I don't think these tasted as strong personally, so I would continue to snack on them, but those would probably also give you pretty bad breath too, I would think. 
Um, Agreed. I just read something though while you were talking. So it says there's a Czech custom called I'm gonna butcher this. Sorry, uh, Kabilova Prenostika. Uh, and it means onion sayings, and it says you can forecast the weather by sprinkling salt on 12 onion peels, one for every month of the year. If any peels are wet the next morning, then in those months you can expect lots and lots of rain. I want to do that. <laughs> like, I want to try that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We made that a New Year's resolution. We have, like, right? They're like, what January. are you doing? <laughs> like, oh, just, you know, sprinkling salt on onions. Kind of predict the weather. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. That's but neat. yeah, overall, like I'll, I'll give it a positive review. Um, you said you're a meh there, right? I'm a meh. Caramel and cheddar popcorn. So these are from China. If you look, there's actually two different kinds of popcorn in there, which I thought was pretty cool. It smells like your typical, you know that um that tin that you got as a child of popcorn oh, with yeah. the three different kinds. That's what it smells like. Yep, I agree. It smells like it, right. I feel like I'm Bring just so memories. excited that we have popcorn in this box. I feel like we always get chips and we always get wafers. There's just things you always get, and I'm very excited to be getting popcorn. I'm going to try both. Agreed. One's caramel, one's cheddar. I'm going to okay. see cheddar. I'm ready. Oh, it's so soft. Again, a soft popcorn. Mm, I feel like that throws me off. I feel like in America, like, you know, we get, like, that crunchy popcorn. Oh, well, the other one was kind of crunchy. This was amazing. I'm going to go back and try some more. I want to try them both together. <laughs> now that I tried them separately, I want to oh, try them together. Oh, smart idea. Okay. Oh, they're so good together. Did you try it together yet? Mm-hmm. This is so good, guys. Oh, my gosh. This is much better than that tin popcorn. Uh, this is, like, it's very fresh. I like, it has a resealable, um... I feel thing. like I'm kind of loving the soft popcorn. Um, I, I said it a long time ago in, um, like I think one of our first videos, I'm not a popcorn person. I will not go to the movies and get popcorn. I don't like popcorn. I will never make popcorn at home to watch a movie. I, don't, I just don't like popcorn. It gives me a stomach ache. I don't like it. But soft popcorn, this I'm loving. Like I, I could eat this. It's definitely new for me. Like, I'm not used to this. And we had it twice now, and I loved both of them. Yeah, so. this is so good. Yeah, I really like both of the flavors together. Individually, they tasted really good. But this I liked together. Like, it was so good. Ooh, a big thumbs up for me. Yep. Me too. Haggis and cracked pepper potato crisps. <clears throat> we got more Mackey's potato chip, guys. These are from okay. Scotland. Yeah, it's um, cracked and black pepper. This is going to be interesting because, for me... Because I'm a little bit, when I taste pepper really strong, I'm not a fan, so I'm a little bit worried. So it's also haggis flavored. Do you know what haggis is? I don't. So it says, in a poll of American tourists in Scotland, 33% of people thought haggis was a wild animal. Mm. It is not. So it's a beloved holiday pudding made of, are you ready for this? No. <laughs> sheep stomach, oatmeal, and spices. <sighs> I'm not, I'm not okay right now. <laughs> yep, yeah, so... And it's a pudding, of all things. It's considered a must for any Scottish New Year's Eve dinner. Okay. You ready so, for some haggis? This is really strong black pepper smelling. What is it? What if you're smelling haggis? Is that what haggis? I don't know. It does smell like pepper. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm a little nervous, guys. I just, I want a little piece, though. They also have haggis stuffed roast turkey, haggis sausage rolls, haggis bonbons. Yeah, you got the idea, it says. Did you say it was sheep stomach? Uh, yep, sheep stomach, oatmeal, and spices. Okay. Smell that sheep stomach. <laughs> you're making it, you're making this impossible. <laughs> These are not good. <laughs> I don't like them. I would never eat these. I'm not going to the bite because it's in my hand, but... Um, I would say, I feel like I want to say that it's more black pepper flavored than haggis, but I don't know what haggis tastes like. So for all I know, haggis could taste like black pepper. This is giving me a little bit of PTSD because, um, it's going to give you a little information into us. We're both huge Harry Potter fans, and, um... I, to the point where I will try anything Harry Potter at least once, and I went into a store and decided to try the Harry Potter beans, and um, I only ever tried one in my life, and I got black pepper. I was in a car, 
driving for like two hours, had no water, nothing, and had the taste of black pepper in my mouth for like two hours. And this just brought back traumatic memories. I can't. That's <laughs> a definite no for me. I did not like that at all. It's, it's yeah. Is no. that a no for you? No. Hueso de Santo marzipan candy. So next up, we have Hueso de Santo uh, marzipan candy. It's Spain's soft egg yolk and marzipan's holiday confection. They are individually wrapped, which again, we always love. You saw that really good. That was like, you said that like amazing. Hueso de Santo. I know, you said it so confidently, so you know. good. Like, okay, I, I see you. You know, thank you, thank you, I do what I can. <laughs> oh, it's very soft, it's very cakey kind of. But sticky, very sticky. Um, it doesn't really have much of a smell. It, do you smell yeah, something? It smells like plain white cake. Is that what plain, plain white cake smells like? Yeah. Okay. It does have a, a yolky center. Well, looking center at least. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm getting full or what, but I went to bite into this and I was like, whew, okay. I just feel like it's going to be thick and heavy. It's definitely thick. I don't like the texture. It like sits in your mouth. It gets stuck. Whew. This is gonna be a no for me. I'm usually very good with Spanish, just any like of any kind, like Spanish food, but I like grew up on it basically. But this is a no bueno situation. <laughs> this is not good for me either. No. The texture was too much. It was like, it sits in your mouth, it gets stuck in your mouth. Um, the flavor was just okay. Not enough for me to like really be like, wow. Apple Stalin cake. Packaging, it, just, it says nothing on it, which I love. Like, I know, I kind of like that too. It definitely caught our attention because it had no writing on it. It was the apple, I was like, is there a miniature apple in there? Like, what is this? What is this? It's so cute. What is that? This is a Stalin cake. Oh, yours is a little funky. Look, mine's just perfectly oh, round. Oh, wow. Mine's all, <laughs> like, all messed up. He's okay. from Germany. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's stuff inside. But mine doesn't look like that. Mine looks so different. I can see raisins and stuff in mine. I'm not a big fan of this. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm really full, but this isn't doing it for me. Let me try another bite. <laughs> I like mine. You can taste the apple for sure. It tastes nutty. It's okay. I'm gonna give it a meh. Amaretto cream milk chocolate balls. This is Amaretto cream milk chocolate balls from Italy. I get so excited when I see the candy bags. Like when we jump out the candy bags that it comes and they're big. Like they're this big. They're like regular mm. truffles. Let's see what the inside looks like. I love Amaretto. I used to get Amaretto sours all the time. You can definitely smell Back it. Back in my overnight days. <laughs> Solid chocolate center. Ooh, very flavorful. Mm-hmm. It tastes legit like amaretto. Like, I feel like I'm eating alcohol. Is there alcohol <laughs> in this? <laughs> I'm a little alcoholic going out of the way here. Um, there's no alcohol in this, but it literally tastes like amaretto. If you like amaretto, this is like, it literally is like the alcohol in the, in chocolate form. It's heavy. This is another one I would say is very sweet. I could only see myself having one. It's sweet. Yes, it is sweet. It's heavy. There's nothing like the truffles. Oh no, nothing like the truffles, but it is still sweet. It's still intense. I think it has a bold flavor. I don't I don't think it's overly sweet though. <laughs> I'm like I can't even. Peppermint humbugs. Love the name of these. Peppermint humbugs. Hum oh, okay. These are from I the bet. UK. They're like off-colored peppermints. They don't smell like peppermint, and I was expecting them to have a strong peppermint smell. I feel smell. like they don't have a lot of smell at all. They don't have anything, yeah. You want to try both nostrils? Because I'm like, am I not smelling right now? Okay. They're hard. 
You can taste the peppermint. Definitely just tastes like a peppermint. I'm confused. It doesn't say anything interesting in here. You'll quickly realize their peppermint kick is no joke. That's true. It's a brown peppermint candy. Yeah, it doesn't taste any different. It's not special. It tastes like a peppermint. It's just brown. I'm not gonna lie though, I feel like our peppermint tastes a little stronger. Maybe. This is a very relaxed peppermint taste. Yeah, I can see that, but it tastes so normal to me. Like, yeah, I mean, they're not bad. Mm -mm, not at all, not I don't at mind all. it, but like, it's nothing unique. I will say ours are a little flatter and thinner. These are very thick. Like yeah. these are, these are, these are thick. Good to me though. Mm -hmm. Might as well just cut to the chase here and get to the end here. So now we have to do our team rating. So together we have to choose our favorite. All right. You know what your favorite was? I know what my favorite was. Those fudge truffles. All about it. Best thing I've ever tasted at all, all of these boxes. Amazing. So my favorite, I'm torn between the garlic chips and the popcorn. And Which one? Just, There's two popcorns. Both of them. They're just so good. These soft popcorns are amazing. I think you were swooning over those garlic chips. They were though. so good, yeah. But if I had to choose between the pop, both popcorns, which one I liked, the egg yolk popcorn was definitely more my favorite. Mm -hmm. But I, I definitely was swooning over the garlic chips, so I'm going to go with that. Okay. You were supposed to choose one together, but I can't not pick these truffles because they're the best thing I've ever had. And I can't not them. choose the garlic so chips. So 12. Um, so the worst yum. Ooh. The marzipan candy got an, a negative for me. And then... Oh, the haggis chips. I think the marzipan candy was worse, though. Is the marzipan candy the one with the anise? Uh, an anise? No, no, that's not the Oh, worst. that was bad, too. Yeah. I'm going to go with the marzipan candy. Yeah, that yeah. was my worst. It was not good. And then the weirdest. Hmm. I honestly, I keep saying that weird doesn't necessarily mean bad. So I'm going to go with, um, I was like, I'm going to go with the yolk um, popcorn. Yeah. You know, the egg I yolk popcorn. I can agree with that. Yeah, that was definitely weird. It was interesting how soft it was. I really wasn't expecting that. That kind of threw me off a little bit. But it was delicious. Yeah, it was. Usually when they give us our sheet here, it'll say like, it'll have us about what box we want next, for example. But this time it was a look back at 2020. It says to take all the letters that are highlighted and kind of do a little scramble to see what the next box is. Did it already. It's the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. So the next up we have the Netherlands. I'm pretty excited about it though. I don't really know much about the Netherlands to be honest. So uh, we do have a primer, uh, several primers in Netherlands though. We so, do. Yeah. So definitely hear about it from time to time because of work. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for the next box. Same. This box overall I think was very good. Very good. We always expect to have things that we don't really like. So that's not really that unusual but we have people at work that eat it for us so. oh yeah nothing really tends to ever go to waste no nope. yep. everything goes at work even if people are like eh this isn't that good the next day it'll be gone yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I, we're really excited about this we hope you enjoyed this box if you got it as well so let us know if you did and be sure to answer that trivia question and we will see you next time bye guys bye